From August 5th to the 7th, 2024, CAFA convened the first regional stakeholder consultation workshop on the Pandemic Fund project, reducing the public health impact of pandemics in the Caribbean through prevention, preparedness and response in Trinidad and Tobago. The workshop provided an opportunity for CAFA member states to gain a better understanding of the project and how it fits into CAFA's overall work of improving regional health security. The St. Lucian delegation, comprised of the Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George, Laboratory Director Dr. Wayne Felicier, and Medical Surveillance Officer Dr. Dana Gomez. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George highlighted the significance of the pandemic fund, describing it as the first financing mechanism specifically designed to provide grants aimed at enhancing the preparedness of low and middle income countries for future pandemics. The Pandemic Fund's first call for proposals provides additional financing to strengthen pandemic prevention, preparedness and response capabilities and to address critical gaps in countries through investments and technical support. It is expected to support and reinforce the capacity building and implementation and other frameworks consistent with the One Health approach. Carthur's regional entity proposal was successfully selected in July of 2023, with COFA as the executing agency and the Inter-American Development Bank as the implementing entity. So based with this um, regional project and COFA as the beneficiary, the member states, which St. Lucia is a member of, will serve to support COFA in reducing the public health impacts of pandemics in the Caribbean region. The chief medical officer also emphasized the critical importance of regional coordination and data sharing, key components under the pandemic fund. Reflecting on recent experiences managing the COVID-19 pandemic, Dr. Belmar George noted that effective coordination and collaboration among various agencies were essential for the successful handling of public health crises. In terms of data sharing, it's extremely important the provision of an evidence base for public health decision making and policy within the Caribbean. It's important that we get accurate, reliable, timely and relevant public health information to ensure that the decisions are made are based using evidence based data. As islands, we all collect data within our countries and CAFA has been integral in terms of us sharing that data, the analysis of that data, and that is being shared to us in a way that we can use it effectively to facilitate um, data sharing. So one of the areas that we are going to see and the importance of that regional um, coordination is us using this data and ensuring that we get it analyzed in a very timely manner. The health delegation from St. Lucia participated fully during the three days of consultation. Dr. Dana Gomez presented during the meeting on climate change, surveillance and early warning systems. Dr. Wayne Felicia presented on biosafety and biosecurity. And Dr. Sharon Belmar george chaired the conference on the third day on regional coordination and data sharing. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Onika McCoy.